there. I'm just putting the final touches on my science love letter. What do you think? Now, you're probably not surprised to hear that I love science, and you may have seen other people holding signs like this, you know, in the news or in your feeds, but that might cause you to wonder, who are these signs for? And who are the science lovers fighting against? People don't usually debate whether water is made of hydrogen and oxygen or that gravity exists, yet there are a few areas in science that seem to be mired in disinformation. COVID-19 is one of them. In fact, scientists have used the term infodemic to describe the wave of bad and misleading information that's washed over us. Our world is more connected than ever, and we have access to information like never before. As COVID-19 spread, scientists all around the world worked together to understand the virus and to fight it. With all the high quality evidence out there, why do so many people believe the disinformation? Here's the thing, people can draw completely different conclusions from the same piece of information. Researchers think that this is because we tend to fall back on our own personal worldviews as a shortcut when deciding what to believe. When encountering new information, we may think that we are weighing all of the evidence fairly, but unconsciously, our values predict how likely we are to accept that information as true or to reject it as false. Some countries like Canada are known for valuing individualism. They celebrate independence and self-reliance. However, a recent study found that people with highly individualistic worldviews were less likely to accurately assess the risks of COVID-19. On the other hand, some people value the community more than the individual. In the same study, those people were more likely to accurately assess the risks of COVID-19 and to follow public health recommendations. Have you ever wondered why people fall for conspiracy theories? Research has shown that conspiracy theories can actually be comforting. The true causes of the pandemic are complicated and that can feel unsettling. Conspiracy theories provide simple answers in an uncertain time. And access to the facts might not be enough. Sometimes an accurate claim may feel so different from what you already believe that it just deepens your distrust. Rather than helping you decide that a conspiracy is false, it can make you even more skeptical about what scientists are saying. Modern search engines are trained with algorithms to serve up stories that fit what we already think. So online searches about conspiracy theories tend to lead people further down their own personal rabbit holes toward even more extreme viewpoints. So, you notice someone has spread disinformation online. What can you do about it? We know that our values influence how we interpret information, so you might want to think about what values do you share with the spreader? Why not appeal to those values, things like honesty, love, fairness, responsibility, or the search for truth. Another strategy is to use the power of the personal. It can be hard for people to make sacrifices when the benefits aren't clear. A message like wear a mask to protect your Nana is gonna be more effective than something more general like wear a mask to stop the spread. People remember what you repeat the most. When challenging disinformation, Focus on the correct information instead of repeating and reinforcing the myths. Sometimes people need to encounter information more than once before they understand and accept it. It's also helpful to remind ourselves that real life is messy and in times of uncertainty, we might not have all the answers. Finally, the best way to stop the spread of disinformation is to teach your friends and family how to spot it themselves inoculate yourself against disinformation before you encounter it in the real world. Disinformation and science don't mix. To learn more about battling disinformation, click on the link in the description.